Are you tired of burning your pie crusts? Everybody knows the aluminum foil trick. But are you tired of messing with these? Little strips of aluminum foil? Are you tired of your pies looking like this? Today I'm going to show you how to make a pie shield that you can keep, reuse over and over and over again, and it's going to cost you less than one dollar. I'll show you what you need to put this together right after this. Nobody wants a burned pie crust, but nobody wants to go to all the trouble every time of messing with the aluminum foil. It's a terrible technique, so I want to show you something a lot better. And this is all you're going to need. You're going to need one of these disposable aluminum pie plates. This one happens to be a three pack because I'm going to use one to make this and I'm going to make two pies to freeze. So you're going to need these. You're also going to need a circular saw. Nah, this will work better. You're going to need a sawzall. Nah, I don't feel good about that one either. We need something, uh, need something that's going to cut pretty good. These hedge trimmers might work pretty good. Ah. How about we just use an old pair of scissors and I'll show you how to make this pie shield. Now for those of you that don't know me, my name is Victor and my channel is Southern Keto and I do keto and low carb cooking videos and make healthier versions of standard American diet foods. I was making a keto pecan pie and I was messing with all this aluminum foil around the edges. It was just a mess. And I remembered my grandmother who grew up during the depression and didn't throw anything away, would always go to the top of the refrigerator and grab this little ring to put on her pies. So I thought, man, I can do that. It worked perfectly. I tried a couple different ways of doing it, but I came up with the best way. You can keep this wherever you like. And anytime you bake a pie, put this on top and no more burned crust. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna show you what you need to put this together. So I have these aluminum pans here. This one comes in a three pack, but the super sturdy is what you wanna get. I got these at Walmart and they were $2.98. I'm just gonna take the bottom one, take my scissors and just be real careful that you don't stick it through your hand, but I'm just gonna put it like that. Know where your fingers are. Just give it a little push through just like that. That's going to get our hole started. Then I'm just going to take these scissors and go right to the edge of where that circle is. And you might want to make a little cut like this just to make it easier. And be careful with this. It may be a little bit sharp around the edges. If you wanted to, you could cut it and fold this down a little bit, but we're all adults here, so not too worried about that. Now, if you like videos like this and you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there and hit the bell right beside it. And anytime I upload a new cooking hack video like this, you'll know about it. I'm basically just going to roughly cut this out like that. And then once you got a little space to work with, you can kind of go back in and trim this up a little better. Just be careful not to cut yourself. And since we're not using the tools I originally thought about using, you know, you don't need to wear any safety goggles or anything, I don't believe. It should be just fine. But yeah, if you got a little jagged edges like that, just kind of cut them off. You don't want this getting down in your food or anything and you don't want to cut yourself either. So after you've gotten all those sharp edges off, this is what it should look like. And I'll show you how to use it. This is what it looks like in action and it's going to keep that crust from getting brown and burning. Let's take this ring off first see if it did its job and it did crust is nice and brown but it is not burned so there's a great pie shield just like what my grandmother used way back in the day 
I bet you she had that thing for 25 or 30 years and just kept reusing it over and over. If you're wondering what kind of pies or desserts to make using this, and you like keto or low carb, or you just wanna try something different because a lot of times you can't taste the difference, I'm gonna put some videos right over here with recipes that you can try that you will love. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Thanks for liking my channel. Don't forget to like this video and share it with somebody that you think might love to quit fighting without aluminum foil. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.